Guys, the market's been heating up. While I've been in Italy, we have been crushing stocks, mostly these meme stocks. I think that the market's gonna continue to stay hot for a little bit of time. Right now, everybody's asking me, is this the new bull market or is this a bear market rally? Guys, there's three different ways to really look at the market, okay? So when you think of trends, you have short-term, intermediate, and long-term trends. If we look at a chart of the QQQ here, there are three ways to do this. The nine-day moving average is your short-term trend. It's the average price of the last nine days in the market. When the slope is higher like this, it's telling you that the short-term trend is higher. We use the 20 and 50 for intermediate-term trends. You can see right now, the 20 and 50 are also pointing higher, so our intermediate-term trend is higher. Now, on a long-term basis, you can see that the 200-day moving average is still sloping down, and so it is telling us that the long-term trend is down, but the short and intermediate-term trends are up. So when you look at the stock market, you really gotta think about what type of trader are you? Are you an investor? Are you a day trader? Because if you're a day trader, then you really care about the nine day moving average and whether the short term trend is higher or lower. If you're a swing trader, then you're taking a composite of the nine, 20 and 50 and that's how you're going to trade. So when people talk about bear market, bull market, that's all just malarkey in a way. You've gotta figure out what type of trader you are and then that time frame is what's applicable to you. As a short-term trader, to me, this is a bull market because that's how we've been for the last month. And price is the only thing that pays. I only care about what the price action tells me, not about whether I'm making a name calling this bear, bull, because in the end, it doesn't matter. Let me give you a couple setups that are working right now. If you look at this chart of Rev, right? I've been doing this pattern every single day. When these momentum stocks have a hot day and the next day they open weak and they gap down a little bit. So if you see Rev, like it pushed down in the morning and started basing in that low eight range under the red to green level. That's the dotted line on the chart. And as soon as it passes that dotted line, it goes red to green. We long those stocks as you're starting to catch people off guard. A lot of people are shorting these things because they're turds. They go red to green and explodes. And you can see this thing, it gets to 1040 and we were trading it up and down the whole way. If you look at BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond, look at the week open on this. It happens so quick, it opens weak. And because it's extended on the daily chart, the short sellers come in and then boom, the bid gets propped up, it goes red to green. Next thing you know, that thing's off to the races and we're trading it back and forth till $27. That's called a red to green trade. It's based on a weak open. And what you wanna do is find really strong stocks or stocks that had some type of news out the previous day. Wait for the weak open and then when it goes red to green, hammer it. That setup has been making me literally thousands of dollars every day for the last month while I've been here and in a hot market that's your go-to trade.